Hey guys, this is my view from work. It's pretty most days. Today's kind of gloomy, um, but I am very excited that we're within 15 days of our trip on the sunshine. So I hope you guys enjoy counting down with us because I know that we are so excited and I can't wait to show you what all we get into and all of our adventures. So even on this gloomy day, there's a little bit of sunshine in the future. It's cheesy. Tony's gonna kill me. Hey everybody, uh, I'm Tony. I'm Hillisey. And uh, we're Tony Travels. And today is our first topic video in our 15 days to sunshine. Yay! 15 days till sunshine. Till. Is that what we mean? Mm -hmm. Not until. 15 days till sunshine. Because mm -hmm. we're going on the sunshine and it's like rainy out here. Yeah. And you saw we're it. ready for the sunshine. So, yeah, it's kind of double. Uh, why are we explaining it? I don't know why I'm explaining that. But yeah, you guys get it because you're smart. Uh, so today, we're going to talk about um, documentation and Woo! the documentation that you'll need uh, on your cruise. So so where does the documentation start? Um, really? With check-in. Um, after you board, after you board, <laughs> after you book your cruise, um, you have the option to check in then if you wanted to. Um, you can check in closer to your departure date. Um, he likes to do it months out. So he started the process like three months ago. Yeah, but didn't finish it, so now we're two weeks out, and we just finished yesterday. It's okay. So, it's now we don't get the early boarding time, but check in. that's okay, because we're not going to get into Port Canaveral until, like, four or five in the morning, so we can use that extra time to sleep. Yeah, so it'll be fine. <laughs> but you're going to need your passports whenever you do your check-in. You need your passport. You have number. to have a passport? No, you don't have to have a passport. You can use your birth certificate, but you're going to need a passport or a passport card or birth certificate. Um, there's a couple of other documents that you could use, but I'm, I don't really remember what they are, but they're all listed on their website. So Yeah, it's... So here's the thing, if you have time, if you've like booked a last minute cruise or, or you're just now fixing to, fixing to, that's, that's a <laughs> Tennessee thing, you're just fixing to, no, you're, you're just now about checking in, about, you're just about to leave in a few days like we are, you don't have time to get a passport, but if you have time, just get a passport. It's so much easier. Um, if you use your birth certificate, you have to have a birth certificate. You also have to have a photo ID. Um, you have to have like multiple forms of um, uh, identification. But if you have your passport, that's all you need. Um, so if you if you can, just do it. I know you don't have to. It's not fully required. Just do it. It's, it's so much easier mm -hmm. um, to have a passport. If you have a minor going with you or somebody over the age of 16 that is going to be using a birth certificate, they do have to have a form of ID with their picture on it. Um, you can use a driver's license, driver's permit if it's got a picture, or student ID. Carnival said that they would honor that too, so that's kind of Yeah, cool. and most states you can just get a regular yeah. photo ID even if you're, it's not for driving. But if so. it's a last minute thing and you have a week and you're like, hey, we're going on a cruise, you know, there, there are options. Yeah, and if you're not sure, bring everything. <laughs> right? Like, you bring everything and make copies. Make copies of when you go through, you're going to put in, yeah, you'll, you'll actually put that online in your check-in. You'll say, I'm going to check in with a passport and it'll ask, what's your passport number? I'm going to check in with my driver's license and birth certificate. What's your driver's license number? It'll ask for all that information. Bring it all with you. Take copies of your driver's license. Take copy of your passport. That way you have it in multiple places. If you keep, if you're going to keep this with your bag, you know, keep the originals in your bag, then keep the copies in the safe. You can keep the Copies in the in your bag, then keep the originals in the safe, and just keep you know that way you have multiple in case something happens because you never know. Um, but you're going to put in your information. Then the next thing is your stateroom options. It asks um, like how you want the bed set up, so you can say if you want two <laughs> twin beds or one uh, queen or king bed. If it's your first time cruising, don't be surprised if you forget that option. You get to the room and there's two beds. <laughs> yep. So then you but. Just ask your steward. They're super nice. They'll fix it for you. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about like in-room like options things later. Um, but how like how to set up your stateroom, uh, making sure that you know who your steward is and that they know you. That's super important. But that's for another video. Um, 
but yeah, you set up those options. Then you set up your sail and sign on uh, different cruise lines, maybe called something different, but you're always going to set up some way that you pay on the ship because you're not paying with cash unless it's in the casino. <laughs> Um, the casino is the only place on Carnival, at least, that accepts cash. Other than that, you're using your card, um, your sale and sign card. Like, so your, your gold or red or blue, whatever color card, your card, this is everything, okay? On the cruise, this is everything. Um, um, one more thing, too. It's not part of documentation, but bring your own lanyard if you don't want to spend, you know, $15 for a thing to put around your neck. Yeah, you can buy that. Like, buy it as a souvenir. <laughs> yeah, you could, but... but yeah, they're high, yeah. so... Yeah, bring your own. And you can customize it, you can do whatever, so that's kind of Bedazzle cool. it. Yeah, bedazzle it, yeah. Um, so, when you when you set up your sale and sign account, or your, your onboard payment account, mm -hmm. uh, you can put a debit card, a credit card, or you can decide to just put cash on board. And next to guest, guest services, there's a little kiosk. You go in there and you put your cash in, it loads it on your card. Um, we use our Carnival credit card because you get points for it, um, especially when you buy stuff on board. So the more that we charge to the card, we have the cash to pay it off set aside before we even leave. So we get back from our cruise, we can just pay it off. Um, we get the extra points, all kinds of little perks to that. So. Yeah. Well, anything like you're booking your cruise or, book, or yeah. buying anything on board, you get double points. So, <clears throat> I mean, that just works for us because we pretty much... That's all we we'll use always, it for. We'll always sail with Carnival. I mean, we want to sail some other lines, but, you know, we just like Carnival, so we'll, we'll, we'll sail with Carnival. Um, and the last thing is if you're sailing with a minor, you'll set up, you'll um, sign them up, register them for the kids program. So whatever their age group is, you'll sign them up for that. You'll basically, basically you're just saying, you know, telling them any type of allergies or anything that they have if, and like letting them know are they allowed to check themselves out mm -hmm. um, because at over a certain age you don't have to go and check them out of the kids club they can say hey uh, I'm done here I want to go you know I want to go get some pizza and play a water slide and it, you can set them up to where they can do that on their own which you know just depending on the kid if they're mature enough you know that may be fine. If so, they have a phone and they can yeah. use a little texting app that is through Carnival. Yeah, on Carnival. Hub, yeah, on the Hub. Then that's another thing. You can always get in contact with them. Yep. So they can say, hey, I'm checking myself out. Where are you guys? And then they just come to you. You know, it just know your kid. Know your kid and know if they're responsible enough to do that or not. So, but that's really the last thing online. Um, um, yes, but while we're talking about minors, you need to know that if they're traveling without one of their parents, or guardians, um, you need to have a written note from that absent parent saying that they give them permission to be out of the country and they know what they're doing and like medical attention can be, you know, given in any kind of like that. It's it's good yeah. to have just in case. And yeah. Carnival's website says that you have to have it if you're getting off the ship in Mexico, but I don't know if they enforce that. It's just a little, little note. So if yeah. any of you have had that happen, I'm curious if they enforce it. Yeah, because we have one of those children. No, um, <laughs> we, we have. We when we sailed with uh, with our son la, last June, May, yeah, yeah May, May or June. June when we went on the conquest. He went with us, and um, uh, his mom didn't. His mom didn't go. He went with us, and um, so she s just wrote a little note and signed it. Said that I know he's going, mm -hmm. where he's going, where he, who he is, and. You know, <laughs> who he is. like yeah, I hope so. who he's going with, <laughs> and uh, you know, I, you know, just have that little note with you. I don't even think they asked about it I whenever can't... we went and checked in. Like we just gave his birth certificate, and he was like, "Okay, there yeah. you go." I don't I, even think they asked it. it, but just have it just in case because you're going out of the country. You never know. That's going to be a recurring theme: is you're going out of the country. You don't know what will happen. And there That's... have been several cruises that we've been on that like we barely even got out of the. I don't even think we debarked from the actual port and they had to stop what they were doing and take a lady off and she didn't even get to go on the cruise mm -hmm. so i mean and she's just enjoying her vacation and then something happened and she had to leave so yeah you never know so that's what i said always just be prepared um you know print everything that you have have multiple copies of it print you know print your print all your booking paperwork uh take copies of all your id um we actually use a binder Mm -hmm. You have it right here, obviously. I do. I was prepared. Jeez. 
So, <laughs> you know, it's got our itinerary just so you can kind of look at it. Yeah. Um, you open it up and we've got all of the information that we need. This was our receipt. Yeah, so once you get done, once you get done doing your booking uh, online, it'll you can print your paperwork. It. it just prints all the paperwork. You don't have to select anything. Just print all your paperwork. It prints a whole packet of paper. So we just print all the paperwork. Boarding and, pass. Yep, all your boarding passes and everything. We just print all our paperwork and then put like birth certificates and passports and stuff over on this side and then you got it all in one place whenever you go to check in you just open it up right there at the agent say here's this and this and this um Boom. super you're easy get, you're gonna have a health questionnaire i would that's not in there no it's, right. but we had to give it to them yeah right. but i strongly recommend that you fill it out ahead of time and have it ready to go otherwise they make you sit in these seats and fill it out and yeah well, some ports even are doing it electronically now. That's true. I think the like the Florida ports, like Miami, uh, Cape Canaveral, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, I'll find out if there's any more. I'll put it right here. But I think the, I think those are doing electronic health forms now. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't actually have to have the paper form, but just just take it anyways. That that's another thing. Like you know, like if you're flying when you debark and you're going back home, you know, I know we have our phones with, with everything on it and you can have your boarding passes for your flights, your everything on the phone. Always, I always suggest just have a paper, just have it in your bag. You don't have to be holding it and having your hands full. Just have it in your bag. Just print a copy because um, you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And another thing, ladies, if you are pregnant or you will be past 24 weeks by the time that you're supposed to get on the ship. They will not let you board. They nope. won't let you go on the cruise. And you have to um, also, no matter how far along you are, you have to have a certificate from your doctor from Carnival, you know, that your doctor has to fill out. Um, they won't accept just a letter. They said online, they said that you have to actually have the certificate. So be prepared. That's another hoop you have to jump through. Yeah. But And if you're going to be close to 24 weeks, like don't push it. Just call your Call your travel agent. If you didn't use one, could just call the cruise line directly and say, hey, look, you know, we booked this a year ago and stuff we'll happens. It'll be 23 and a half so, weeks on the day that we like, get on. You know, it's not going to happen. Call them ahead of time. They'll work with you to, you know, reschedule your book a later time or something like that. Like, they're not going to leave you out to dry. But, you know, the longer you wait, the less options that they have to help you. So, that's true. you know, if you're 24 weeks, that's how many months? That's like. A six, lot. <laughs> that's like six months. Right, you know that. Right? You, probably. You know you've been pregnant, you know? Maybe. Like, well, yeah. I don't, I don't, know. I don't really know how that works <laughs> as far as that goes. But anyways, um, <laughs> you said fill out your questionnaire earlier. Uh, we were, when we went on the Conquest last year, we're like in the parking garage taping our luggage tags oh, and stuff yeah. like that. Like, you, your luggage tag prints with your paperwork. Just go ahead and take some tape and tape them up and put them on your bag or if you don't want to put them on your bag just like punch a hole punch a hole in it and then like just like bring a zip tie bring a zip tie and just zip tie it to your bag once you get there we just like yeah we were fumbling around with these for like 20 well, minutes and this is the difference between not taping it and taping it yeah this so is hers Tony's is still, hers is still pretty so um, it gets wet. The other fine. thing the other thing which my mom actually bought us we didn't mm -hmm. actually even buy them we're gonna but, use them this time um, are like plastic little luggage tag inserts that are made for this size of luggage tag and she got them off of Amazon just slide it right down in there bam good to go you Use don't have to worry about it anyway. every time yep so you know have your luggage tags ready um, what else uh, so that's really that's really it for getting yeah. on the ship um, but getting off the ship you have even more documentation <laughs> right so what happens with the debarkation Paperwork. Well, the night before you get off the ship, there you're going to have it's a different kind of luggage tag, and it has what's called a zone number on it. It'll be you, well, ours have always been blue with a little white number. Um, so in the morning, you have to wait for your zone to be called before you can exit with that group of people and leave. Um, that zone number corresponds to where your luggage is going to be once you get off of the ship, because they kind of keep it in little piles, you know, by zone. Um, the declaration paper for U.S. Customs. Which you only need in some port. I think that you probably need it in most ports. I think like there's only a couple like I think Miami you don't need the declaration. They do a different type of declaration page. Mm -hmm. They didn't have us do one in 
uh, October on the Vista. I mean, the the security but guy asked us if we had anything to declare. And we're just like, no. He said, just what did he say? Something about just typical souvenir crap. No, oh, yeah, we're like, well, we have like this, and then he's like, oh, just typical tourist crap. That's but, what he yeah. said. <laughs> we're like, yes, so, sir. These guys, they just they see so many people like <laughs> these customs men and women. They just all they do is just, just deal cool. with tourists all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, but um, yeah, with your debarkation zone, just a side note there. Um, if you, like, let's say you have a flight that's like oh. a 10 o'clock flight, mm -hmm. well, you know, your debarkation, you know, it may be a higher number. You may not be able to get off the plane till, or off the plane, off the ship until like 8 30, 9 o'clock. Well, if that's not going to work for you, don't wait until the last day and then be in the line of a million people at guest services. Mm -hmm. um, if you have faster than fun, you, yeah, you can skip right to the front of the line. But, don't don't wait for that. You know when your flight is, so go on a sea day, you know, and go to guest services on a sea day and say, hey, look, we have an early flight, you know. Well, you you also have the option of putting that whenever you do your check-in. They'll say, mm -hmm. what are your flight, you know, what's yes. your travel option? You're like, are you driving? Are you flying? So they'll know ahead of time if you do it right. They'll know ahead of time that, hey, we have a flight at 930. They're going to get you off the boat. They yeah. want you. They want you off so that you can get your flight. So that's and part of the check-in. A lot of people, like a lot of people, just make huge about all oh, the lines at guest services are so terrible. This, yeah. and that. like, yes, if you wait till the last day and you go with all of the people who are mm -hmm. taking their gratuities off of there, which that's a whole another side note. Like, you're gonna wait till the last day and then go take all the gratuities off of your sale and sign card. Like, anyways. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be tons of people there on that last day. So. Go on an earlier day and say, hey, look, I have an early flight. I just want to make sure that we get in an early debarkation zone, you know, and they will give you, an, I think if you have an early flight, you can even just carry your luggage off mm -hmm. and you yes. can go, you did. can go super early and with, you know, with zone one, just like, so. Well, and if you are going to carry your luggage, don't put it out in the hallway the night before. Yep. <laughs> That's a big one too. Because then you got to wait for your luggage to yeah. be down there. If it's something that you can manage, I recommend managing it. Just drag it with you because it would... It's less work once you get through the zones. You don't have to find your luggage and go through crowds of people. You know, just keep it with you if you can handle it. If you don't pack that heavy, like some people. Yeah, like I, I'm I'm easy. I pack in a duffel bag. I pack everything in a duffel bag. Yeah, we don't have to buy suitcases last minute. Nope. Um, so that's you've gotten on the ship. Now you got your de de debarkation paperwork. And you got off the ship. Mm -hmm. That's. We made it. That's about <laughs> it. So just kind of use common sense. Print your paperwork out. I know everything's digital now. I have everything on our phones. I do too. I rely on it. I, you know, but just print your stuff out. You're going out of the country. So just be safe. Have all your bases covered. And um, if you have any questions, um, you know, drop us a comment. And if we don't know the answer, it may it's probably something that we haven't thought of that we want the answer to as well. So ask us your questions. Um, also put some topics down below if you have anything specific that you want us to talk about. We may already have it on our list um, or we may not. So um, any questions? We're going to do, we're going to try to do like a uh, towards the end, maybe on the like next to last video of the countdown, we're going to try to do like a live Q&A. That way, you know, you guys can ask us any questions that you've come up with. We can answer them live if they don't pertain to a certain subject that we're already covering. Um, but uh, other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel so you get updates, uh, hit the little bell so you'll get updates whenever we post new videos. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little informational video. Uh, I'm Tony. I'm Phyllis And, and uh, we're Tony Travels, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.